but this is a FK 8R. Hi right, lifestyle, so yo, we just got to Dean Zane. I'm gonna tell you, so yo, that type area ain't pretty. And I don't think the camera is going to pick up the beauty of it, but, anyways, I'm gonna chat to Dean quick, get the idea of you know where all this passion starts and I'm, 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 I'm mad up the type area, so you see me? So let's go. Yeah, the man himself. Dean, what's going on? Yeah. Everything good? Yeah man, so far. Yeah, so you don't know, me am in the Mobile City and you know, so if I forward, I have to link you up because we've been to see the car on IG. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a man now. One thing I know about you, you know, any car you have in your punch, you know. <laughs> Zin, what makes you go so hard on the type part, the FK8, in terms of the mods and stuff? You know, say, from me by the car, it's like, most of my cars, I always modify them. Yeah. I can't drive a stock car. Mm -hmm. It does feel slow to me yeah so any care i may have i always modify them that is just me right and just pretty up you know so give me a quick rundown of what you did to this car we can walk around and talk while you yeah, tell man. me we have um bolt and stuff mm -hmm. prl intercooler right charge pipe kit prl we have on the cooler intake mm -hmm. the eventually carbon intake we have on the full exhaust system remark mm -hmm. rims upgraded disc pad you know, put on my little graphics, I have on the blower valve, and I have on the PRL dump pipe and the front pipe. Mm -hmm. It's PRL. So much power are you building? Right now, 390. It's 390. 400 torque. And this car comes with original about two 275 to 285. Depends okay. which dyno you dyno. So is there a, is there an ultimate goal with this or you just, you just couldn't bother drive it stuck? For me, I want to reach up to 500. Mm -hmm. Anywhere in a 500 bracket, me good. Yeah. And then me just stop it. So other cars previously to this, me you know? Have, me use a underman. Yeah. You yeah, understand so me like R's, type R. Yeah. Me go through two DC2, one DC5, one FD2, and FK8 now. Mm -hmm. And I have a DC2 next door. That you restore? What I'm going to yeah, restore and I'm building. Wow, DC2 Type R, EP3 wheels, blue Recaros, carbon fiber front lip, carbon fiber bonnet. Yo, Dean, you did a great job on this car, bro. What you say your plans for it is? Boost K24. Bali built. Bali, big up to Bali from Bali Performance, yeah, man. Bali built a lot of bad owners, you know, peeps. Trust me, let me tell you that. I need to get link Bali and get a get a, um, a vlog on him as well carbon fiber trunk coach mm -hmm. type r original type r key brembo brakes in a blue for match the recaros coming on, on, on nice and it has in the blue carpet as well blue recaros so dpj dpr so dpj again at them dip big up to room and dip it on the, the gauge part so no motor right now mm -hmm. Love it. Have a spoon look to it. So right box. now, right now, no, right now she's heartless. But next time you see her, she's gonna be K24 boost, DC suspension, mad suspension. These people. These are the bills that I, I like the feature. Starting from nothing to something, isn't me? So a mad thing for me. We also have a STI. Yeah. 
long time back in the days a 97 STI the one I Subaru them we have a Evo 6 and a couple different Why do you think cars. Chinese people love fast cars though? Why? In a DNA, you know? <laughs> <laughs> DNA. Yeah, yo, people, let me tell you about the car, man, I'm going to give you a quick walk around, you guys. Five and five lip. Yeah, so, I could go around it, and uh, we're we'll going to talk about the mods one by one, mm -hmm. so the people them can see. So, you have added a carbon fiber lip on it. Yeah, it carbon fiber bumper cover. Right. Fog lamp cover. Yeah. Then I add on the Mugen piece. Nice, so this is Mugen. Yeah, we have to move the, the sensor and put it here. Okay, so you have to retrofit the sensor? Yes. Okay. And then I dip the, the grill. So this dip was done by Dip It JA? Yeah, Dip It JA. Okay, so these originally come black. Yes. So he added the carbon fiber flare to it. Yeah. He also did the... This engine room is Dip It. Right. The fuse box, computer cover. Mm -hmm. This is real carbon fiber. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And who did this for you? Tony, Tony from um, Lucy. Okay, big up to the Lucy from them as well. You see me? So that's for the engine bay. So when we go to the wheels now. Raise. Yeah. Peeps, if you're not familiar, these are very lightweight wheels. Mm -hmm. And these are one of the more popular wheels on the aftermarket circuit. Especially, especially a lot of Japanese tuners go with this, with this brand. Yeah, Brembo. Weight and strong and check out the Brembo's as well spray the caliper in a yellow mad so one these one these, FK these originally came red he added his flare to it Dean is a man who love yellow like myself you know from a long time you see me I see he added the carbon fiber and the carbon fiber right on the the air ducts on the side mm -hmm. carbon, carbon fiber, fiber mirror. mirrors them look nice. So these are original Mugen visors as well. This is a carbon fiber, but this is the flare. Okay. It's a little bit longer than the regular one. Nice. So it adds a, a like a duck bill look to it. Mm -hmm. And this is carbon fiber as well, farms. Mad. And we can't yeah, forget that, 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 that sticker here on it. That sticker here bad. <laughs> you see me? And this is the exhaust he was speaking about. This is the Remark exhaust. Um, this is a full exhaust system? Full exhaust. Okay. From the front part, come right down. So, did you do everything one time or, or everything was in stages? I'm talking the performance. Yeah, everything in stages. Okay. But you didn't dyno as you, as you put on though? No. A tune. Okay, nice. Yeah, farms. So, I mean... I'm big up ATL too. I always represent ATL. Big up to ATL, you know. My crew that as well, you know. Trust me, I'm tell you that. I'm gonna put on those LED lights. Yeah. Mad. You see? This is what it's all about, adding your flair and your vibe to it to make it have that zest there, you see me? So, what do you say, we can go for a couple pulls in it now? Yeah man. Alright, cool. Are you ready? Yeah man, ready I know man. Alright. I'll go for some pulls now, let's get a little start on it, here it's on. And you did some stuff to the interior as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so this come with the Honda Ata. Yeah, so you can put it as an option nice. if you want it on your display. Man, so so you, you don't really need no bag of gauge in the you car again. You don't need no gauge again, you know? Yeah. And it show you when you go on red line, when the VTEC come out. Good bro.
very steady farms trust me when I tell you he's, he's doing a good job at setting up this car and one thing I rate about Dean them money and buy care for pet care them money and drive the machine yeah why is it that though machine what? for drive man yeah I realized that over the years with you you know you know pet and powder things like that I forget the money word yeah <laughs> true I like that analogy I like the way you look on that and I'll get a, a front forward pull now you see me as well to link up with Shaban from ECU Tune JA <laughs> yeah. yeah man Bless up. big up you know yeah, man, one really. love man yeah so fam so we're here to link up with Shaban from ECU Tune JA he's gonna give us a quick scoop of how you got started in the tuning game what kind of cars he tunes and yo I him a tune the Mark X them now you know so you see me man Bro, uh, go on. Well, I'm there, bro. Big up, big up, big up. Everything good? So far, so good, you know? Alright, I'm going to hop in and then you're going to just give me a quick synopsis of how everything started and what kind of cars you do and all of that. You yeah, man. Me? Hop in and I can see what's going on. Alright, lifestyle. So we're here with Chavin. It's not Chavon, so that's my correction right there. So this is the man behind most of the cars that the Bima man named. Roland said the Bima man named <laughs> so Shavin, give me a quick introduction to who you are and you know. Yeah man, Shavin, um, behind ECU to JA, uh, started the company basically in 2018 because I had a Nissan 250 GT that I wanted to remove the speed cut from, yeah. give it a little bit more pep, but I couldn't find anybody to do. So I made a few links yeah. um, over the southeastern side, got some equipment on this side, so you know what? They actually bring the service down here so others can enjoy it. Yeah. Because down that side, they actually do a whole heap of research. Yeah, a whole heap of research. So when somebody say, all right, bam, um, they want a tune for your vehicle, we can actually just log in, right. um, pull the files and get it tuned. That's why some people actually think that we are buying maps and putting. Oh. So that's where the, the, the whole idea came from. Okay. But we have a, 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 a good support um, overseas. So they actually offer DTC solution. Uh, we tune a wide variety of vehicles. Suzuki Swift, 
markets, the, 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 but that are the most um, requested one, the Pops and Bank. Right. But we call it the muffler effect because really and truly it is an effect. Okay. It, it don't really have a serve a purpose in the vehicle, but to make the noise. Yeah, they, they, they just want it for them up. Cruise and all that energy, is it right? Yeah, man, because uh, you know, it was originally designed for turbo vehicles to keep it in boost and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah so it don't really serve no problem, but they like it, <laughs> you know, it's a part of the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. they might want to know when they might cruise in a cruise for yeah. so they can get a little energy. They can't yeah. feel a little bit because, trust me, the, the whole I mean, I, I wouldn't say the secret behind it. Yeah. But it's the muffler aspect. So the more restriction you remove from the muffler system, the louder the pop gets. Oh well. So, maybe yeah. that's a secret on your part that you're right. releasing. You well, know, it's, it's okay there for everybody. For everybody right? It's there for everybody. So because I actually tuned some vehicles before. Yeah. And the guy them actually linked me back on the IG page because they didn't know that um I'm the person that operates in that page. And I said, boy, are you come a bit tune the car. Yeah. But he wants it sound like the Cuban one because Cuban one are running place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Sammy G, that's simple. Just to remove some more restriction. But I understand. Man said, yeah, man, John, you start, brother. I sound like I bent them, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see me? So, at that energy that we are trying to push, really. And um, people seem to be receiving it. Well, you run, um, you you are the one that tune Virgo car, too? Yeah, man, we run a tune. Because Virgo car was already fast, because him, him do him little thing and yeah. stuff. But then we had a little pep to it. Smooth out the performance and remove the speed cut to it. But you know, Virgo, you not really want to pop sign them things, yeah, you know. Virgo just want to go. He just want to go. So, yeah. boy, everybody want Virgo head down this side. So, Virgo, um, Virgo recently, um, did a little pull with a, with a M4. Mm -hmm. I'm creating a little scene and a little All vibe right. down to that. But, you see me? We <laughs> talk about that on a later date. Trust me. Yeah, so you find that because you were. You wanted to tune your mm -hmm. your your Nissan in itself. Mm -hmm. The service wasn't available, so you started to provide the service. So I started to provide the service because when I when I, when I got the stuff, yeah. I realized that shoot, I know spend a whole heap of a whole heap of just, right. just to get this stuff and just to test it on my own vehicle mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I said, you know, I just going to provide the service for others because trust me, there are still other persons out there that want the restriction to be removed, yeah. and them still don't even know that we offer the service down here. I see you do. Tuning on mini stuff. Yeah, man, we do mini basically. All right. So once we can access the ECU, we right. can tune it. Because as I said before, a lot of research goes into um, these things um, by our team um, in the southeastern side. Okay. So once we can access the ECU, we can do it. So we can either do it via OBD or we can remove the ECU itself. Or even sometimes we actually open the ECU okay. and tune it via that road. It's just thing technical, but we find that the Japanese cars are a little bit harder to, to reflash versus the European from what they are. Exactly. You see me? I'm not so familiar with all the jargons of it, mm. but I realized that from from I realized the BMW man name mm. can I call JB for image yeah. was MHD. Yeah, are they both models? Right, yeah. and get a get a tune and get power mm. increase right there. But for the Japanese vehicles, mm. them come locked. They come locked basically. So you unlock them then? Well, yeah, I wouldn't say necessarily unlock. We can't because what happens? We just create a virtual. We have a virtual reading of the, of the files. So we have a cloud. So we basically have all the files here. So once we can access the EC, we have a cloud. So we can do the modification. But we can write to it. But most of the time, you can't really read from some of these vehicles. Nice. Yeah, you so you one. tune your personal car? No, this one was tuned by um tuned overseas by innovative tuning. So big up to PJ from what performance. So big he up PJ Cadogan. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. When, when I actually was doing some logs and I sent him, boy PJ cussed me and one said, man, what kind of speak? Will you find six gear out here so? <laughs> How much power you building out of it? Um the last time I dined on it, I think it was roughly about 260, but then it was a conservative tune on it. Okay. Because the market still are going away, I have to up the fuel a little bit and then you know get a more aggressive tune on it. So we're not sure yet, we're not sure. Yo, the market man <laughs> them man, I tell you, the beam man them upset but let me tell you, it's just a part of the game. This is a part of the because even yesterday, I was actually, actually saw Mark X on the road now, and I look at his Roland, so I'm just done tune when he said just tune, you know? So yeah. I said, hey, big up, I you see you tune. Roland, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> so Roland, big up yourself. I want you to give me an honest opinion, mm. and not, not from a selling point standpoint. Mm. But do you really think a Matrix has what it takes to take on a BMW? So you have to remember that there are different levels um, as it relates to the BMW. So you have entry level. Right. Because um, you have BMW that's probably making um, 200 horsepower. Mm -hmm. You have probably 250, right. and 300 upwards. So it just depends. But at 350 Matrix now, um, after that, probably making um, probably about two. 
70 and you have a lot of power up top, somewhere up up there. So, so you can run with a lot of BMWs. They have top end? They have top, only for top end. Okay. Only for top end. Don't get for learning it now, peeps, mm -hmm. because before I never really I understand it fully, you know, mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. Roland right. would have said the Markex can keep up with the Bima because mm -hmm. naturally you would think the Bima would be faster, mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. But Roland made a valid point that the, the Mark X has usable power. Yeah, man, you have a whole power, especially the yeah. 350. I'm going to realize the Virgo have a formula for you. Virgo, he have the formula. Why? <laughs> I don't know. He's like, he's not planning to give nobody, but he have it. Yeah. So when you take off the, the 180 speed cut now, yeah. so you unleash the beast and you tune it, yeah. you unleash the beast and the Mark X. So that really caused a little, you know? Overstand. So I wait for a couple of the man then before you know? Yeah man, because uh, yeah. so it was kind of short notice so I managed to contact a few of them. Yeah. But majority of my work is up Kingston side. So we're going to a part, 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 part two. When you when you forward at all. I know I actually booked up um <laughs> Chavin yesterday and you know, I was actually I went to Miracle Car and I was purchasing some stuff and they were there too so <laughs> That's just how the link makes That's how the get, car game is, you know? Yeah, when I get some of the, the sauce, you know, the VP sauce, so. Yeah. yeah Big up America Corp for that. Today is not Chavin day for do an interview for the flip car. Because if you tune so much of them, I want to know what they're all about. Yeah, man. Right? Because in this car game, not one brand. Every brand deserves them all. Every brand deserves them all. Time to shine, isn't it? So, we're going to flip into an Annex C now. So, watch out. Alright, so this is, a, this is one of the 350, right? Yeah, man, 350, and a premium one then. Okay, nice. And this one doesn't have the pops and bumps. Yeah, man, it have it, man. Okay. But it's just a technique, yes, It's a technique. Alright, so yo, this one and the one them from Mobile. Is it me? Well, for represent in terms of the Mark X. I want to say represent, people. I mean, Team Mark X versus Team BMW. I understand because as you can see, Roland Carl out there, the BMW man, them, and right now, Chavin, I represent for the Mark X them. <laughs> you see me, the Mark X one and I really want to say much. Yeah, I'm going like him yeah, shy. You mean a silent boat today, you see me? <laughs> Mad. Going on the Mark X yeah, now. So you feel a difference since it tuned from your, your, your drop on the ECU to not? Whole heap of difference, man. Whole heap. Put on your seat, man. Ready? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. You can it have a it have a good punch of V6. Them come in. Yeah, man. Well, it's on a 3.5. 3.5. I'm mm -hmm. ask a question. I mean, I'm sure you could already get a Bima, but why you go Mark X? Well, I really, well, my car I'm learning to drive off I know, is a Mark II. Okay. So I just grab a Mark X. Yeah. And then when the Mark X them come in, enough man for you say, yo, they're in a fast. So I just grab Stick one of the Mark X and set it. Yeah. Mm. What do you feel about the Virgo one? Virgo one a machine too, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're enough, I see him specs right now. The boat are you? Both of it, but the thing is, I do it. Not, the people don't really know this Akira. Okay. Yeah, they will see me pass me a road and they wonder what that. Yeah. You understand? So, man. I'm going to go man. outside and, and you give me a pull up the road from an outside shot. Yeah, man. Yo, I'm not biased. I can see what I can see what the matter about. Yeah, you see what the matter about yeah, now. It, 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 it have the potential <laughs> yeah. for when it catch up on top end. When top if end you don't know what you do, mm -hmm. it, 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 it will dust you. You have all the power up top. Yeah, I don't nah, nah, go around. Trust me when I tell you that. I'm sure we say it at bricks, you know. You see me, Yeah, man. So, yo, Arkex, mad thing, you know. Big up. Mark 
Mark X I'm representing. Big up to all Mark X owners. The enemy is a car enthusiast. So I'm not, I'm not brand loyal. From a machine, a machine. What do you say about that? A machine, a machine. Man. Ah, mad thing. Alright, so yo, lifestyle. This is another car that they, um, that they put a map on or they tune. So basically, the reason I'm showing these cars is not necessarily because we are trying to see who are the fastest sweeper or whatever. But the, but the, 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 the fact that they are actually doing something great with these cars are unlocking them and getting more power out of them. So this is the man himself. What's faster? Yeah, man. Faster. Well, go on. So yeah, tell me about there. since you feel a power gain and stuff since you've been doing this. Yeah, man. What the car used to feel before? Yeah, if you also have some talk because I have a little management on it, but basically I can run it now without the management. Yeah. When I put the management on it, if you look for my wheel, you see what I go and feed me with them a strip. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, like, like torque here. Yeah, torque here now. First I show you how to drive it now. <laughs> Yo! Yeah, so you don't say you're pleased with your car though? Yeah, man, the, the beauty about it, since the tune is, you see, the man who used to try a thing uphill. Yeah. <laughs> no, they have to run me for the level, but they can't hold me uphill. So, what happened to when you, what happened to when you encounter another Swift like you? And listen, we don't promote street racing, this is just all spirited driving, so sometimes you might buck up a man and you, you take a one cruise with him when the road empty, you understand? Exactly. Yeah, you know, I show sure respect to my fellow Swifties, but if they make a boy box them, then me all box them on the boy. <laughs> that is basically. <laughs> basically. Roger, what's going on, bro? Good, man, good. Everything is good. Yeah, man. So, question. Yeah. Ever since you added the tune on the car, give me a quick breakdown of. Way more power, way more launch. Everything is better, man. Trust me, it's good. I heard you passing a while ago on the Burbles, bro. I love the Burbles. The Burbles, you know, that's the key to a BMW, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. And I realized that it's an X1, right? Yeah, man. It's an X1 M Sport package. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen them actually tune an uh, X1 before. Well, you know me. I'm different, you know. Every car I have, I try to make it different. So that's yeah. Different. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, yeah, give a little pull up road, you know. I mean, man. I'll show you how I'm going. Man. All right. Yeah, man. So this is the X1 from the side view. Our oh, buzzing you know, peeps. Mad thing. And Sean from Dapper Click helped him with the setup on this one. Looking nice. And to be to be uh, to be quite fair to you, is one of is, is the is one of the best looking X1 in Jamaica. Of course, the only one like this in Jamaica right now. Yeah. And it, it had the only one mirror bus to shot them too. The only one. And I'm gonna hear them like this. Oh courtesy of the man. Just me, rapid. Right, just so. rapid. Yeah, man. Alright, so I'll take a pull. Um, so you said the tune give you way more power, way more power. Mm -hmm. Like before, it took a while to accelerate, but now, way better. And you get used to it now, too. Get used to it. That's your favorite part, I know. My favorite part, I know. The burble. <laughs> Respect again for taking the time out, yeah, you know. Man, bless up, man. You see me on one link, yeah. you see me? Yeah, man, bless. Alright, so we're gonna actually go for a quick pull in Chavin's car as well. So, yeah. Just 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transfer case, pop up. Change the amount them to. Yeah, oh. Some yeah. pairing. Okay. So this is uh, running about two. The last time was about two sixty. Okay. Close all this scene without <laughs> adding a vibe. Where's about that? Yeah, man, I'll just get a little pull it yeah. up. Man, did my link up. It's going lifestyle. What's going on, bro? Fresh panda. Just a rolling, you know. Respect, 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 respect. So, like when you just reach, we're going to roll into the next scene now. You ready? Yeah, man. Alright, let's go. Yeah, man. Yeah, lifestyle. So, we're gonna head to Scott's now. You gotta feel them there. Early, early. Early, early, early trip to Lifestyle school. Yeah, man. We'll be representing. Respect, respect, respect. This is the machine. So, actually, we're going to link up with Scott's mobile that runs Bima Lifestyle. Services a lot of cars down this side. A lot of BMWs mainly and he's gonna give us a quick rundown of a lot of things how he started his promotion that he used to keep which is slippery when wet so yeah let me not talk about it let's get into it Nick big up skunk life big up Nick you make me drive the all the way Alan Bamboo just to get curry goat no me have to drive all the way come on mobile I am sure for the BMW versus everybody show them <laughs> so, yo skunk life it's out <laughs> 